Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Addicts to Victory here. As today, we continue our Premier League efforts. Looking to bounce back from last episode. Uh, draw against Arsenal. Pretty good. The feat to Porto, disappointing but understandable. So still, I mean, we are... It, it, we chill on still. Second season in the Prem. We did incredible well last season. We're still doing pretty well. Fifth after eight games. Hopefully we can keep that up. First off, taking on Andrea Perlo's Brighton Hove Albion. A crazy sentence. Who were 11th. And then the Carabao Cup against Leicester. Currently 12th in the league. Hopefully we can beat them and we can keep pressing forward in the Carabao Cup. Where we got to the final last year. Uh, I'd love to get to the final again. I'd love to take that extra step and actually win the damn thing. But uh, maybe that's too much to ask. Who knows? We'll find out against Leicester. For now, kicking off with the game against Brighton. Team-wise, following that uh, disappointing defeat to Porto in the Champions League. Uh, they're playing a five at the back, which, you know, always disappointing. Not disappointing, always a bit tricky. Uh, I think I'll go with a four still. I'm tempted to go with a five. I find matching up a 5v5... Can work out pretty well, but we're quite comfortable playing like this, so I think this is what I'll go with. And then team wise, oh, uh, benefits literally no one. There we go. Uh, standard team, good to send goal back for of uh, Bogle actually coming in for Cambio, so he's very tired. The only change I do believe. Uh, Bogle, Retzels, Clara, Tavares, Concer in the field with Rainier, and Samarsic just ahead, and then Plachetta and Hlodzic on the wings with Balogun up top. Yeah, other than that, one change of right back necessary due to tiredness, a standard Charlton 11 at this stage. Hopefully, we can go out against this very defensive-minded, you, you imagine, pass-focused Andrea Perlo Brighton, and pick up the win and keep an, up how we're doing in the league, you know. A point against Arsenal last game, a win against Brighton here, stay right at the top of the table, that's what we want. That's all we need. Without further ado, let's get into the game. Bogle with the throw to Plachetta. Heads on to Consa to Bogle. Oh my god, we're, look at the speed we're going at here. Switches play to Tavares on the opposite side. Through ball to Logic. Intercepted. Xhaka punts it forward from them. Chetta. Bogle gets to it first though, thankfully. Jaden Bogle pumps it to Plachetta. Can he get there? He can't. Davis does, but bounces back to Bogle. Jaden Bogle dribbles it down to Plachetta to Rainier. To Placetta, intercepted by Gallagher, Davis. This is a mile a minute. Ostergaard, back to Livakovic. He's going to be patient. He's going to slow things down here and plays it out to Davies in the end. Davies down the left hand side to Cucurello, to Gallagher over the top to McAllister. What a run! Strokes it home. Looked like he might have been offside. It's very tight. Even Gunnarsson has charged out to appeal for offside here, but the goal is awarded. It was a perfectly timed run, says the official. Let's have a look. Yeah, that is a perfectly timed run. As disappointment, Brighton take the lead here early on. Goal kick, Livakovic. Pants it forward for Xhaka. To Trossard. Oh, Clara just... Oh, poor from Clara there to let Trossard get away from him. And then he just smashes it in. It's a very good finish. Uh, but poor from Clara at the start. As Brighton very quickly doubled their lead here. Very much not going well for us. And uh, on this note, I will actually check tactically change to match them. Uh, i got to move a lot of people around here. You're good. You're good. You go back there. Uh, Bogle, Tavares, Placetta can't go here. Uh, I don't want to sub anyone off, do I? I have to, don't I? We're going to... I know 19 minutes in, such an early sub, but it's got to be done. Uh, oh, God. Uh, this is not going well. Yeah, Placetta will come off and George Dobson will come on, our captain, to try and wake us up a little bit, converting to that five at the back to match theirs. Goal kick, Livakovic, punts it forward for McAllister. Dobson gets there, Tavares. Into Balogun, gives it away. Nemecha, Cucurella, over the top to Trossard. Clara headers back to Gunnison, thankfully holds on to the ball. Gunnison, PSG, in the net. What's he going to do here? Being patient, slowing things down, waiting. And punts it forward in the end. Just a Lewis dunk, what a waste of time. Gallagher switches it to Tavares, but Tavares intercepts. Holocek, Balogun. Kolozhek, 
through ball. Samardzic in. Oh, saved by Livakovic. It's not a good shot, really. He went for near post when there was so much space across goal. Not the right decision. Dobson with a corner now, though. George Dobson plays it in. McAllister heads away. Samardzic picks up the loose ball to Dobson. Samardzic. Clara. Corner. Trossard. Plays it to the far post. Concert head is clear. But Xhaka picks up the loose ball. And he takes his time doing so, may I say. Cucurella. Gallagher. McAllister. Concert intercepts well. Dobson. Samardzic. Clara. Tavares. Nuno Tavares rushing forward through ball to Fuller in Balogun round the keeper and into the net he picks up the ball rushes to the halfway line what a goal beautiful counter play really there Tavares a great ball to Balogun who runs on and smashes it home and puts us back into this game 2-1 half time Brighton 2-1 up but tactical change pushes it back into it still not happy though lads still got to do much better in the second half Reini is not having a good game so he's going to make way and we're going to bring on Brian Garcia in his place yeah, and uh, as well we'll tell him to play a bit more advanced, just to push up the pitch at them. Goal kick, Livakovic plays it forward to McAllister, Dobson gets there first though, Samarzic to Balogun, to Hlozek, Clara, Clara goes for the ball, is intercepted but given away, Hlozek out to Tavares, Nuno Tavares crosses it in, and Balogun's shot is blocked behind for a corner here. To be taken by George Dobson, the captain again. George Dobson plays the corner into the near post. And Lewis Dunk heads clear. Hlodzic picks up the loose ball and has a good go. And it's Livkovic has to do really well to get down, get across and tip it behind for another corner from that Hlodzic stop. And Dobson takes the corner again. And it's headed clear by Lewis Dunk again at the near post. Oh God, Smarzic, Garcia, Hlodzic. Oh God, Hlodzic on the ball, Garcia. Throw ball to Jaden Bogle. Running through, Jaden Bogle crosses in, headed over there by Lewis Dunk again. Oh my god, we're going to have to change a little bit here. Right. Here's what we're doing. Hlozic is coming off, and Adam Ida is coming on. Uh, Balogun is going to switch sides with Ida because Balogun's better at advanced. Uh, we're going to whip crosses in, so we don't have to deal with Lewis Dunk in the air. And then corner-wise, we're going to just move and we're going to aim at the far post. So once again, we don't have to deal with Lewis bloody dunk. Free kick, Trossard plays it to the far post and Lewis dunk is there. Headers onto the top of the crossbar and over, thankfully. Goal kick, Gunnarsson from that, missed by dunk to Clara. Gunnarsson... Gives it away really, really poorly to Lamperty, Nemecha, Cucurella, PSG, Gunnison doesn't make many mistakes, that was a really bad one, crosses in, Clara with a poor header as well, Clara's not had a good game, as Tavares, one of our better players today, gives away a penalty, poor, all around, from everyone involved there, that was awful, Gunnison, awful goal kick gives the ball away, Clara, Awful attempt to a clearance gives the ball away. Tavares, awful tackle. And now Nemecha from the spot puts Brighton two goals ahead again. Berate them. They've been awful. Brighton, 3 1 up. Goal kick. Gunnison to Retsoffs to Gunnison. Goes for Ida, who does get there, thankfully, to Dobson. Samardzic. He's got plenty of free space now. Samardzic. No point shooting from there, though. I've told him to work the ball in the box. I don't know why he hasn't there. Oh, corner, though. Dobson plays it in. Far post, Ostergaard heads clear though. Clara, free kick right to Lewis Dunk. Great, great. Garcia to Bogle. Bogle passes it. Oh, we've been so bad today. Everyone's been terrible, haven't they? Jesus Christ. This is one of the worst performances I've seen in a long, long time from this team. Tavares heads back to Gunnus. That sums it up. They Concert and Gunnison were just both watching the ball and it nearly let Brian in to score again. Just full time, please. A 3-1 defeat. Awful. 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 Not happy. Not happy at all. Goodness, it's the worst game I've seen for us. And Clara's, honestly. Jesus Christ. As it is a poor start to things here. Awful. 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 Hopefully, we can bounce back. We have a much, much better performance than that if we want to get through in the Carabao Cup. Which we do, so fingers crossed. As let's go and see what the team, because there might be a few changes after this performance, looks like for that Carabao Cup tie with Leicester. 
And here is the team. Quite a few changes for this game against Leicester after that dreadful performance against Brighton. Uh, Gunnarsson in goal. Uh, back four of Cambioso, Conza, Clara and Tavares. Midfield of Dobson, Brian Garcia and Samadzic. Paulinho on the right wing. Kolodzic on the left. Balogun up front. A couple changes. Hopefully the players coming in can impress to try and keep a spot in this squad. Hopefully we can come out on top in this Carabao Cup fourth round tie at home to Leicester. Fingers crossed for everything without further ado. Let's just get into the game. And right from the kickoff, Cabral to Palumbo to Thomas. Ndidi. Ndidi to Jean Maria. But Cambioso does really well to intercept. Paulinho. Cambioso. The new men on the right-hand side. Uh, the different men from the last game at the very least. Passing amongst themselves into Brian Garcia in the end. Across the Balogun and into the net. Immediate impact from these new players coming into the squad. First of all, Cambioso and uh, Paulinho. Cambioso back from tiredness and, Cambio and Paulinho just starting. Doing really well to pass amongst themselves down the right hand side. Remember, Leicester kicked off here. Boy, stole the ball right away. Cambioso and Paulinho passing amongst themselves after up the pitch. Brian Garcia also new into the squad in this game, replacing uh, Reinier. Runs through a perfect run, perfectly found by Paulinho, I do believe. Across to Balogun, who just taps it in. 30 seconds gone. Charlton on one, Leicester nil. What an incredible start here. Throw in in Leicester's half to Aras. Zamazic. Back to George Dobson, our captain. To Clara, Brian Garcia to Samarzic. What a ball over the top from Samarzic to Paulinho. His volley is well saved by uh, Lars Sonner. I'm going to say for Leicester, but a really good move once again. Brian Garcia is having a great performance today. And a young Argentinian coming into the squad very, very well. I mean, he, he probably could and should start for us anyway. But he's playing really, really well here at the very least here. Throw in at the halfway line for Leicester. Castagne to Jean Maria, but intercepts really well to Paulinho. Paulinho, what a ball to Balogun. Following Balogun. Shot well saved, but Paulinho is having a great game here. He's only got a 6.7 rating, but he's he's been incredible for us so far in his highlights. The corner from Samad's that just headed away by Palumbo in the end. But Paulinho, like I was saying, has been really good. Really good interlocking passes. He gets the ball. He looks up. He finds someone, whether it's going back to Cambioso to pass amongst themselves. The ball to, to Brian Garcia, to Balogun there. Playing beautifully. Highlight though, Consa to Dobson. Brian Garcia to Dobson. Consa to Cambioso. What a ball from Cambioso to Samad's it. You volleys against the post. Oh, inches away. We are all over Leicester, who are yet to have a single shot here. Dominating display. What a ball. What a run from Samadzic, who gets to it, but his volley is onto the post, sadly. As just before half time, we have a free kick here to be taken by Brian Garcia. Stands over it. The young Argentinian puts it just over the bar, but well played, as I think this is going to be half time. And it is. 1 0 up. That goal 30 seconds in. All over them. They get to have a shot. Very pleased, lads. Keep it up in the second half. Let's get the three points. Not the three points. Let's get this spot in the FA Cup, uh, the Carabao Cup. Getting everything wrong. Let's get this spot in the Carabao Cup fifth round, which I want to say is just the quarterfinals. And 55th minute, not the best performance from Hlozhek. And he's getting a bit tired. So we're going to bring him off. And in his place, we are going to bring on Adam Ida. Throw in by Leicester's corner flag here for Cambioso. Cambioso plays to Dobson. Cambioso. Garcia. Cambioso. Crosses in. And Samadzic gets there, and he pokes it home. I just want to see if that was a volley or a header, because that was a really good little move of play here. Brian Garcia, vital to everything still. Him and Paulinho have been sensational coming into this game. Garcia played it to Cambioso, took a touch, whipped it in with his right foot. I'm sorry if you can hear any dirt bikes. They're constantly by my damn window. I hate them. Beautiful wall by Cambioso. And Samozic just runs in, and it's with a volley. Who's this guy? Who's this This number 15 for Leicester? Does nothing. He does not notice the run of Samozic into the box. And he just runs. He pokes it home with a volley right into the bottom corner. And just like that, 62nd minute, Shelton 2, Leicester 0. And 70th minute, going to make the rest of our change. I think Clara, tired and on a yellow. And not playing the best is going to come off. And Eric Martel is going to come on, the German. And following Balogun's got a goal, but he was also tired. So we're just going to freshen up the attack a little bit here, I want to say. And in his place, I'm going to bring on Rodrigo Rodriguez. Brian Garcia's had a really good game, so hopefully his uh, former River Plate Argentinian alumni uh, friend, pal, Rodrigo Rodriguez, uh, the man so nice they named him twice, can come on and do well here. Consa to Clara to Consa. Back to Gunnarsson. Punts it forward. 
Balogun, God, can't quite get there before Wambersnack, Ricardo Pereira switches it to Jao Mario. Jao Mario, the former Inter Milan man, smashes it. And thankfully it flies over the bar. And 83rd minute, because I can never remember how many subs or anything, we have more subs. So Andre Correa Cambiasso has had an amazing game. Man, the match, as things stand, I do believe. Uh, he's going to come off though for Jaden Bogle. And also, one last change. We're going to bring off the goal scorer, Lazar Samardzic, I think. And in his place, I'll give a run out to Matthias Sanchez Moreno, a Cholton Youth Academy project. Product? Product. Whichever phrasing. He's a project, he's a product, he's both. And full time, Cholton 2, Leicester 0. A 30 seconds in, Balogun with the goal. Samarsic as well. Incredible performance. They, Leicester only had two shots, only one on target. Everybody did amazing. Man of the match for Cambio. So coming back from missing last game, he showed how crucial he is to this squad now with a beautiful performance. Passing is on point, crossing in point. Paulinho, shout out to him as well. Had a great game. And Brian Garcia, all three coming in. All three did amazing, as well as Dobson as well. Everyone did well. Everyone did well today. Perfect bounce back from that Brighton performance. Nice work to everyone. Uh, let's give out let's give out the praises as always. Uh, you guys did well. We're over seven point fours. I'll throw a seven point six in with you as well. Uh, really good. Uh, Conta best performance so far. Seven point nine happy man of the match. Andrea can be also delighted. What a performance from the young Italian, I don't know how young, I think he's 25, from the Italian right back as we get the win and we advance into the Carabao Cup fifth round quarterfinal, I think. And once this screen finishes loading, I will just check when the draw is and we'll probably stick around to check it out. I mean, where is it? It's there. It's on the day of Bournemouth. Uh, so yeah, I will jump forward now to that Carabao Cup quarterfinal draw and then we will do the as usual conclusion of the episode okay okay I was correct Carabao Cup quarter final two championship teams left in Huddersfield and Reading two of the traditional big six left in United and Tottenham as well as Wolves Everton and goddamn Brian if I get Bri I half of me wants to get Brian so I can beat them and get revenge half of me doesn't because I don't want to risk a repeat but let's just get into it Cholton first out the box Oh boy. We'll be at home in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal against Manchester United. Probably the toughest game left. Everton, Reading, Brighton, Huddersfield, Tottenham, Wolves. But we get Man United. What's my managerial record against the Red Devils so far? I've managed against them twice. A 5-2 defeat, first of all. And then right at the end of last season, a 1-0 win. Placetta with the goal. It's going to be a tough mountain to overcome. United are such a strong team. And we'll definitely be back for that game at some point in the future. Uh, I don't know when it is. When is it? It should be here, shouldn't it? God, let me duck my damn emails. Uh, the 26th of December, Boxing Day. So it will be here when Norwich is. So that is a few, quite a few episodes down the line. As that is going to be it for today, though. Disappointment against Brighton, but a good win against Leicester. A really good performance as well as we get into the Carabao Cup quarter final against United. Next episode, speaking of Man United, we'll be facing them. We'll have Porto in the Champions League looking to bounce back at home to that defeat in Portugal. Fingers crossed for our first Champions League win. And then taking on Man United in the league. Uh, and we actually have a game between episodes, so I'll let you know how Bournemouth goes as well. Because that is it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed. If you have and you're enjoying the series as a whole, then please do let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking. You know, leave a like and subscribe for more while you're down there. And as always, I just want to say thank you for watching. <laughs>